Hi, welcome to the Napoleon Pettis YouTube channel. My name is Tracy and I'm a global makeup artist for Napoleon Pettis. This Halloween, Napoleon's all about Greek mythology and specifically monsters and nymphs. I'm going to be showing you a dark siren look. She is one of 12 characters for this year's Halloween series. So make sure you check in with us each week between now and Halloween. The Sirens were three dangerous mermaid-like creatures, portrayed as seductresses, who lured men with their enchanting voices before killing them. It's important to start with clean skin, so I've chosen Rebirth of Venus Skin Renewal Cleansing Oil. I love how this cleansing oil reawakens my skin, giving it such a deep cleanse. It also feels nourished and refined, ready for any makeup application. Next, I'm applying multi-hydration gel cream for that extra burst of moisture to my skin. I'm now going to apply Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer using Flawless Foundation Brush G19. This will really help the product to last the distance, but it also helps the product to glide on easily onto the skin. Next, I'm going to apply my base color. To achieve this, I'm going to mix Colour Disc Azure Oasis, Colour Disc Lucky Clover, Pro Palette Correct and Conceal Plus, and Auto Palette Calming Skin Primer. To create this teal like paste, I actually had to crush the eyeshadows and decanter the concealer and the primer in a small bowl and mix it together. Um, the more I needed, the more I decanted um, until I reached the desired result that you see here. Now these four products are my hero products and they really play an important part in achieving that otherworldly siren effect that I'm going for in the skin. In Greek mythology, it was said that the sirens may have had a turquoise-like skin. So I took inspiration from this to create my teal coloration. Now to highlight, I'm going to create a mix of stick foundation porcelain and china doll gel eyeliner and yang using high definition foundation and concealer brush G20. Using this bone-like creamy mixture, I'm going to highlight the high points of my face and decolletage. This will help to fool the eye into thinking the skin comes to life. I'm now going to set my cream highlighting with the light versus dark palette in white using contour brush 16B. This is going to make sure my highlighting stays in place just where I need it. For dimension, I'm now going to shade with my chisel blush brush 22B using the light versus dark palette in black. By adding a strong contouring effect to my overall look really helps to bring out the highlighting I previously applied. For smaller areas, I'm going to use Sculpting Brush 10R to contour the inner bridge of my eyes, below my lower lip, and Cupid's bow. Now it's time to add some bright colours using my Chisel Blush Brush 22B. Apply a generous amount over areas of the face and chest until you've reached a desired multicoloured effect. As sirens were part human, part mermaid, I was inspired by the mermaid scales to create my overall coloration. I felt that the blues, pinks and purples over the teal really resembled this. I'm obsessed with my next step. I'm using the gold metallic eyeliner from the Halloween Mythology pack. It's this cream-like metallic radiant reflections texture. Absolutely gorgeous for creating that um, metallic-y reflection on the high points of your face. So for my next step, I wanted to create this sort of 3D scale effect in patches of my skin. And to do this, I found this amazing fabric sequence and it's got this greeny blue uh, reflective texture to it. I've cut out um, different shapes and I've applied about three patches to my neck and chest using a touch of Ardell Lash Glue. To bring out the mermaid-like skin further, I'm actually going to shade around each of the patches using the dark versus light palette in black. For my next step, I wanted to create a gill-like effect and I'm using matte eye ink to create the gills and then I'm going to use a little bit of eye pencil white on um, to sort of highlight and create a bit more dimension. Now it's time to define the eyes. I'm using Lashes Dahlia, Mesmerize Mascara 
and China Doll Gel Eyeliner Yin. I'm going to use my Angle Brush G5 to apply my liner to the waterline and extend it out. This will create a more dramatic and alluring effect to my eyes. If this isn't for you and you prefer to keep it nice and neat onto the waterline only, um, that's completely fine. You create the look that works for you. Now I'm applying a black lip using Diffusing Brush 8B and Pro Lips Lipstick Noir. When designing this look, I envisioned a strong dark lip finish and I felt that Pro Lips Lipstick Noir and its black pigment was perfect to help me achieve that overall dark siren feel. For one of my final effects, I wanted to use black rhinestones. I envisioned the dark siren with black crystals forming all over her forehead and I felt that these rhinestones really took the overall look to a whole new level. So there you have it everyone, this completes my dark siren look for the most part. I'm going to pop in some red contacts, a black wig and a headpiece that I created earlier. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've had so much fun creating it for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Napoleon Purtis YouTube channel. Make sure you check out napoleonpurtis.com for all the products I've used, a full instructional and a face chart. Happy Halloween. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering how to use the mythology pack for a day look, here's an example. That's <laughs> heaven! That was heaven! <laughs> Where are you? You've blended into the background, Tracy. I can't see you.